Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Today, we're going to go treasure hunting. As long as we're here, this would be a good time to buy uh, a few soft potions back at the town. Um, this is the only town that's going to sell soft potions for quite a long time, so you want to keep that in mind when you uh, need to restock. So, apparently the elves haven't been updated on uh, what's been going on. So yeah, just go here. Uh, I recommend getting four soft potions, that should be good enough for now. You don't need too many of them, because not too many enemies can turn you to stone, but um, it, um, it's not really, but it's critical that you at least have some. So, make sure I got those. Okay, so uh, now um, once you finish that, uh, rest up at the end, save, and uh, I'll meet you back at the Northwest Castle. Okay, so we've made it to the Northwest Castle. Now, in order to get to that treasure room there, you want to uh, walk around counterclockwise. So, we're going to just walk this way here. And there's the treasure room. It used to be locked. Now, there's three chests. Uh, well, obviously, three chests here. Um, each of them is guarded by some enemies from the bottom. Either... Um, like about two to five mummies, or uh, two, two, between two or six images, which are essentially ghosts. Um, each of those guys can either uh, sleep or put you to sleep or stun you. Uh, same difference. Um, they can do that with their physical attacks, so you got to be careful with them. I'm just going to demonstrate the bat a couple of the battles with you. Uh, if you don't want to fight them, you can open up the chests from the sides. Um, but I recommend fighting them because um, you know they give good experience in gold and. Me personally, um, I just want to go back to the inn anyway to uh, restore my spell charges so that way I can just take these guys out quickly with fire two and harm. So let's do it. Here are those images. As long as they don't stun anyone, I should be able, I should be able to beat them this round. Got them. And there's a falcon. It's a sword that um, is useful for the thief. So if you got one, give it to him. Get these as next. Easy enough. Good experience in gold. Power staff. Um, I guess you could give that to the black mage, but I'd rather sell it for like six thousand gold or something. It's ridiculous. So, and this chest contains the iron gauntlets. You want to give those to the fighter because it's slightly better than the copper gauntlets. Might as well. It's free. And uh, that the battle below that chest is just some more mummy, so I'll do that in my own time. And uh, the next place you want to go is to the Marsh Cave. Um, well, actually, you want to go back, if you're fighting the enemies here, you want to uh, go back to the inn, restore your spell charges, then go to the Marsh Cave. Um, the room that we want to go to, the first one anyway, is on the lowest floor, the lower left corner. So I will meet you there. Okay, we've made it to the Marsh Cave, and this is the room I was talking about. Now, once you enter, uh, uh, be careful, because if you take one step to the right, like this, you'll meet with those wizards again. Okay, well I just wanted to fight those wizards for some experience, so uh, now the chest to the right, if you go below it, you'll be able to open it no problem. If you go above here, there's a fixed encounter with some cobras. Um, you don't need to really worry about them too much, uh, they can't poison you. Uh, so uh, just, uh, they're just normal vanilla enemies, there's no, uh, there's, there's no elemental weakness for them either, so just gotta Kill them the old-fashioned way. So yeah, pretty easy. They're not uh, too tough. You'll meet up with these guys more often uh, in the next area that we go to. Unfortunately, there's not as many enemies that can poison you. So, 
but still, I recommend keeping a good supply of pure potions, like up to 15, I think is reasonable. Okay, there we go. Silver bracelet. All right. Now that is a good piece of armor. Give that to, um, well, just about anyone. Uh, I mean, except for the fighter and the uh, red mage, really. Um, I'm going to give it to my white mage. Um, I wouldn't give it to the black belt because he already has nearly 15 absorb anyway, which is what the silver bracelet does anyway. So uh, I'm just going to leave that alone and uh, let's go on to the next room now. room. Now this one is guarded by some uh, wizards on one side and uh, cobras on the other side. Uh, you can't open it from the right, so pick your poison. I'd rather fight the wizards because they give more experience, but uh, do whatever you like, uh, and uh, I'll do that, and uh, be right back. Okay, and this chest contains a silver knife that could be useful for a black mage, I guess. Uh, black mage might be able to get two hits with a silver knife by now. I, I don't recall exactly, so now we're just going to keep going. Now, the next room to the right is empty, so we're just going to go to the room in the lower right-hand corner next. And continuing onward. Pass that. And into that room. Now there's no avoiding this one, you gotta fight the wizards to get to the chest, so I'll fight them and show you what's inside soon. Okay, and this one contains 1,020 gold, so uh, that's all that we got here. So um, I'm gonna meet you, the next place we wanna go to, I believe is Caneria. Let me just double check here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go back to uh, Canaria there, so um, I'll meet you back at the castle. Okay, so we're back at Canaria, where uh, we're going to open the locked door. So let's see what we got here. Got a useless iron staff, a useless saber, and another silver knife. Great. And let's check out these ones. Got a useless piece of iron armor. Uh, use this is iron shield and we found the TNT you remember who needs that that's right that's Narek at the dwarf cave he's gonna need to use that so uh, why a castle would have TNT in it I don't know but maybe it's a self-destruct mechanism who knows anyway um, eventually we're gonna go to the dwarf cave but first thing we want to do is um, go over to the uh, temple of fiends because there's a couple locked doors there too so I will meet you over there Okay, so we're going to explore the rest of the rooms here that were closed, locked before, so we're going to start with the one in the lower right-hand corner. They're guarded by some gargoyles, so watch out. This chest contains a rune sword. It's a decent sword for the thief, I think. Now we'll go to the upper right corner room. Almost there. Okay, and the last two chests contain the wear sword and another soft potion. Now, just a quick word about these so-called specialized weapons like the rune sword and the wear sword. They don't work. They're bugged, and I don't think they've ever been fixed in any version of the game so far. I mean, you'd think that the wear sword would be useful against werewolves or other wear type enemies, or the rune sword would be useful against magic users, or a fire sword against frost type enemies. It's not the case in this game. They don't deal extra damage simply because the enemy is weak to it or something. There's some kind of bug with it or something. So only if you see those swords, only take their basic stats into account when using them. So uh, that's everything for the, the Temple of Fiends here. Um, if you haven't sold your excess equipment yet or restocked on items or 
rested at the inn yet, uh, it'd be a good idea to do so. Um, I'll try to remind you periodically, but if you're playing the game yourself, uh, it'd be best to try to remember yourself because I'm, I'm not going to tell you all the time when you need to do it. So um, I, I'm out of time here for today. So um, that's all for today's episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.